Hello! How you guys doing? This time I'm gonna make a cricket bat. It's gonna be fat. I'm gonna take a different look on this one. You can use a square piece of wood. If you've got a branch, just square it off. This method we use today is gonna to be the method you use on all your future projects. You're gonna take a front perspective and make an outline, and you're gonna take a side perspective and make an outline. Once you cut all that out, you've got a basic rough out is what they call it. Should we get started then? Let's do it. First off, obvious, we need a picture of a cricket bat. Let's go on Google Images. What we're looking for is that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, this is exactly what I'm looking for. We've got the front view, like I said, and we've got a side view. What I'm going to do now is uh, we'll right click that. Just need to copy it. So I can not paint. You'll all have this on your computers. Hold control, press V. And there we go. What that allows us to do is if you take this little corner here and drag that, size it up to the width of our piece of wood. I'm using the same old bit of wood I used before. So just have a quick. That looks about right, doesn't it? <laughs> that looks about right. If you have access to a printer, which I don't here, um, just print it off, cut it out, and then skip to the next bit. But if you don't like me, I'll get a bit of tracing paper, stick it on like that. We'll just trace it off the screen. What was your uncle, mate? No fucking expense spared. I think this works with just plain paper as well if you haven't got. Because I think the where the light shows through, yeah, you can see it anyway. All we're looking for is to get that outline shape. You can just about see that, I hope. You've got side view, you've got your front view. It's got to be at the same level, stop at the same level. Alright. Alright, I'm going to upgrade to a saw on this video. Just a standard hand saw, like the one I showed you in the very first video. If you haven't got a saw, do the exact same method I showed you in the last video. Cut little V's all the way around, get rid of this end, get rid of this end, so we're just left with this, what we need. But you know what I'm going to leave, like I did in the last video, something to hold at the end. Makes your life a bit easier for me. All we're going to do is take away all the shit here around the silhouette. And then once that's gone, and turn it around, take all the shit away from that silhouette. I like the first video where we was concentrating on keeping everything round, rounding things off. This is going to be more concentrating on getting the shapes down, getting around the silhouettes. a bit of a balls up guys. I told you to draw it on one side and the other but obviously once you cut this <laughs> you can no longer see that so uh, hopefully you've watched this video through once before you've started it if not guide me. So now we're just going to draw it back on the side. Simple. The side drawing not enough drawing to the front because the front seems to be flat anyway so I'll take that off. That's my basic rough out. Right, so now I've got the basic rough out shaped. It's time to do it as we did in the last video. Round it off. That's what it's all about. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to have a reference. It stops me losing my way as I'm going. Stop doing my own shit and it doesn't end up looking like a cricket bat. Basically. Start. Start with the obvious handle.
the handle roughly rounded. Do it for a minute. Obviously the end needs tidying up, this bit needs tidying up, but you always start off rough and then we'll end by making the final points. From memory there's a flat bit here and then this tapers off down into like a point at the back <laughs> if memory serves. So I'm going to do that. If I'm wrong and you know which way to do it, do it and leave a video response please. Let's try it. <laughs> Wish me luck. Shake that, hopefully that's right. Hopefully you can see that. And we'll it's not perfect, but um it should do. I'm gonna do the bottom now. That's meant to be a little bit curved here. So I'll quickly do that. It's almost like this isn't flat, it looks like it's slightly curved. <laughs> Let's do it. Only very slightly. It's pretty good, I think. Just go around this top bit off, and then that's it. And I'm going to sand it down. Right, and we're done. All right, I'm going to sand this bad boy down. Maybe sign it. Add some details. Bond shit. Throw it in the bin. your mother. I don't care. We'll take a look. Alright, there you go. That's quite nice. What I'm going to do now is add a little bit of detail to the handle. So you know what's the handle, because otherwise it just blends right in. If you're painting it, then obviously you just paint it. It's like a leather bit or a plastic bit at the top. So I'll just take the knife in here. Carefully and slowly. And take it round. Then, this is what's called a stop cut. I tried to show you in the last video. Hopefully, this makes more sense. We're going to cut up and stop where, where we've just cut in. Like that. The same technique on this this one closer here. Hopefully this will just add a little bit of definition to the handle. Now 
we're going to do the same again. Let's stop that here. time I do what's called a V cut. You get you can get chisels to do this sort of thing. Rather than cutting up to it, I'm gonna cut at an angle on one side like that and an angle at the other. That should leave with a little little round bit there. Sweet ass. There we have it. I've one clue sign my initials on mine. You can write what you want, or you can leave it, paint it, stick it up your ass, I don't care. But there we go, I'll shake the handle a bit at the top a little bit more. It was a simple technique, similar to when we did the uh, similar to when we did the baseball bet, or went in one way and in the other way, just little bits at a time till we curved it around. You should know it's by now. Alright, thanks for watching again guys, subscribe, leave some comments, next video, what am I going to do, probably going to go for a simple wood spirit with you, I'll show you these stop cuts and a few techniques, nice and easy, very quick to do, very fun to do, see you then.